Hey everybody, welcome in. Got episode 11 here with Dr. Whiting. And today we are uh, been doing some uh, research on YouTube and we came across this guy, Dad Bod Fitness. And it made us realize that yes, there's a lot of nonsense on the internet. Yes, there's a lot of misinformation. Yes, there's a lot of, I guess what you would call armchair nutritionists, doctors, dietitians uh, that are still, you know, stuck in the 1970s. But Dad Bod Fitness is actually a really cool guy, really giving some really solid advice. Now, not everybody has all the answers, of course, because everyone's body is different. But there are some of his videos that he gives really, really good advice on. For example, um, I think the video title is Struggling to Lose Weight. And the message is, the scale is stopping you from reaching your weight loss goal. You've said that for 20 years. I've been preaching that forever and ever. And this is why. The human body does not remain static. Yeah. It fluctuates the amount of fluid you're holding can change from one day to the next, depending upon environment, depending upon a whole host of things. Well, nothing in the body is heavier than water. Yeah. And you can lose, people go, wow, I lost four pounds overnight. No, you didn't. You lost four pounds of water. Yeah. Because it's the only thing you can lose. So jumping on the scale constantly creates far more stress than it does uh, benefit. And uh, I've always told my weight management clients, don't weigh yourself more than once a week and even every two weeks is better because you've got to allow the body to find its own synergy, its own level of stability. And if you're hopping on that scale, I mean, I, I've dealt with people that have been on weigh themselves two or three times a day. I remember. I mean, that's just neurotic. And he's right about that. Uh, that's one of the greatest pitfalls of weight management is is that obsessive behavior. It's just terrible. Yeah. And I, another really good message that he had was a video titled, uh, Why You Fail to Lose Fat. And his message in the video is really interesting. He admits that he eats pizza, ice cream, and even minorly indulges sometimes. But since he's looking at the big picture of his health long term and his fitness long term, it allows him to enjoy his life. And that's another thing that you've always said for 20 years. Yep. Uh, if, if, you, if you're looking forward to an entire lifetime of dieting. Yeah, that's not. I mean, come on. You're not going to no, be excited about no that. No wonder people quit and give up. Yeah. I mean, who wants that's worse than a prison sentence. And one of the things that I built into our weight management program, which basically provides the same or does the same thing that he's talking about, is what I call the cheat day. Yeah. And the cheat day does several things. Psychologically, uh, you're never more than a week away from having any kind of food or drink that you like. In any, yeah. <laughs> in any amount. Okay. All just a week away. And that was kind of his message on the video. It was, yeah. really, it was a really good message. Yeah. And so psychologically, you don't feel as deprived. Physiologically, that jump start change in your diet actually stimulates your metabolism. And I've had people, once they're into the program, they'll go on that, they'll have that cheat meal, say on a Saturday night, and by Monday, they're two pounds lighter instead of heavier. It used to happen to me every time. Yeah. After my cheat day, two or three days later, I would actually, finally, when I had my weight loss goals of me losing the 60 pounds, it, it happened every time and it was so weird. And, and it's so neat that relatable people on YouTube actually are spreading that information like dad bod fitness because it's really good information it's 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 quality information another one that we wanted to talk about the video titled inspiring real life uh five-year transformation and his message in that video 
is nothing worthwhile happens overnight. Exactly another thing you've said forever. And it's probably that's something that I really held on to when you helped me lose my 60 pounds because it took me nine to 10 months to lose the 60 pounds. And you said, look, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It matters if we do it the right way and then you'll keep it off. And look, and you have. And yeah, and I'm keeping it off. You never had a problem with regaining it. Nope. Well, you know, and, and, I always say, and I, I will say so forever, is that the faster you lose weight, the more likely it will be that you regain it. Yeah, and I think that was his message on that video too. Yeah, and now I just read an article over the weekend about beautiful Ozempic. Oh yeah. Do you know that they have now had enough people in studies to find out what's really going on. Yeah, I've heard And of what happens is, is that the majority of weight people are losing on that drug is muscle mass. Yeah. It's not fat. And the more muscle mass you lose, the more likely you will regain body fat. Yeah. It's just the way it works. It's simple physiology. Yep. Another title that we saw was, um, he got his wife involved with it. it. The name of the video is Secret Behind Wife's 40 Pound Weight Loss. And the message of that video was, she started with building muscle, not counting calories. And of course, not everyone has the option to do that because not everybody's physically able to do that. But the not counting calories and building muscle, if you can do it, is exactly the way you started me. So that's why I was like, oh, that's, I relate to that so much. The, the higher the percentage of muscle mass that you have, yeah. the higher your metabolism goes, which means it's easier to lose weight, it's easier to maintain weight loss. The anything, any kind of program that you're on that actually catabolizes lean muscle is gonna, in the long run, make your situation 10 times worse. Yeah. And that's something that was kind of built into your weight management plan that I've seen for 20 years is the calorie counting. Unless you're calorie sensitive, that's... And even if you are, you have to do it properly to make sure you're not losing significant muscle mass. Yeah. Yeah, and for those people that are carb intolerant, and if you know you're carb intolerant and you think counting calories is the way... It's, it's, you're it's not, <laughs> you're never going to figure it out no. like that. And I think that's what he was trying to point out in that video. Um, another one of his great videos and the last one that we're going to talk about today, but um, we're going to keep doing research is the dark truth about Nucific Bio X for weight management supplement. And the message in that video was not everything works the same for everyone and not everyone's going to get the same results. And we noticed that he got a lot of hate for that video, but it was kind of unwarranted because people didn't watch the whole thing. They just saw a little snippet and judged him on that when he wasn't really saying it was bad. It's just not everyone's going to get that same results. And you're very, you know, a big... When you rely on any of these things, whether it's a supplement, whether it is a drug or a diet... Uh, or a diet. Um, first of all, these things are designed to help accelerate weight loss. Yeah. And we go back to the founding principle of my philosophy. The faster you lose weight, the easier you will regain it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you're using a drug, a dietary supplement, a crash diet, a fasting diet. The faster you lose weight, the faster and easier you will likely regain it. And this is because of a medical metabolic rebound effect that takes place in the body due to the production of starvation hormones. And uh, he's absolutely right. What works for one person is not gonna work for another because we are all biochemical individuals. And you have to find out what, what's right what's in sync with your chemistry. And that's the beauty of our weight management program. That's exactly what we do. We find out how your body responds to various foods, uh, other lifestyle factors, 
and we build a program around it. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's, it, it goes to show that p- there are people out there on the internet, and for example, like YouTube, like Dad Bod Fitness, that are really giving good advice, and we just kind of, since we saw it, and he was doing his research on it, and I did mine, we figured we would just give him a shout out, because that's really, it's a noble thing to be giving good advice to people, because he no, obviously there's so, there's researched There's so much crap it. on the internet that, yeah. that, you know, I mean, it's unbelievable. What's yeah. out there? So it's really good that somebody out there is fighting the good fight. 